After being paralyzed for the past 20 years, Radi Kauf begins to walk down a street in Israel to the sound of a dim mechanical hum. This is the sound of an electronic exoskeleton developed by a small Israeli high-tech company propelling the 41-year-old paraplegic down the street with a proud expression on his face. The device called Rewalk is the brainchild of engineer Amit Gopher, founder of Argo Medical Technologies. While Rewalk helps paraplegics walk, stand, and climb stairs, for Gopher the device has a much more important impact on the user. The main benefit of the, of the device is what is dignity, the uh, self-esteem of the person. Uh, people are not so aware, but being a uh, grown-up in a um, uh, height of a child, and your head is always stuck in the, not so nice to say, but in the bottoms of, of people. But the moment the person is being shifted from a wheelchair uh, user status to a crutch user status, it's, it's, a, new, it's a whole world. It's a, a new it's a, a revolution, actually. Gopher himself was paralyzed in an accident in 1997, but he cannot use his own invention because he does not have full function of his arms. The product, slated for commercial sales in 2010, is not cheap. The company said it will cost as much as the most sophisticated wheelchairs on the market, which sell for about $20,000. The system consists of motorized leg supports, body sensors, and a backpack containing a computerized control box and rechargeable batteries. The user picks a setting with a remote-controlled wristband to stand, sit, walk, descend, or climb, and then leans forward, activating the body sensors and setting the robotic legs in motion. המידה בשבילי זה בהליכה, לא חלמתי על זה, כאילו, בן אדם, אני 20 שנה פצוע, ולא חלמתי שאי פעם אני אוכל ללכת. The rewalk is now in clinical trials in Tel Aviv's Sheva Medical Center and will soon be used in trials at the Moss Rehabilitation Research Institute in Pennsylvania. Goffer says his aim is not only to ease the life of those strapped to wheelchairs, but also to allow them to lead a normal life. Yet for Radi Kayof, who has not risen from his wheelchair for the past 20 years, the effects of rewalk are not just normal, they are life-changing.